Hey everybody, Bill here with Old Dog Homestead. Uh, build some uh, cold frames for my lovely bride today. Uh, she got the idea off of um, the rusted gardener site. We'll uh, we'll put a link below to that, but uh, should be pretty easy to put together. Uh, just two by fours and some polycarbonate panels. Um, so we're going to test this out, see how it goes. So uh, sit back and uh, watch and enjoy. So here I am uh, measuring out the uh, two by fours, the uh, measuring seven feet, and then cutting off the last foot of that two by four, and those will end up being the end pieces. Using the back of my truck, uh, just because we uh, don't have a lot of room in our garage right now, um, and um, so it's just an easier workbench. And a little chilly out uh, when I did this, but uh, you know, not bad. Um, definitely dressed for the weather. And, uh, you know, literally with this project, you could do it with uh, a handsaw, uh, nails, and a hammer. Um, you don't need uh, really any, any special tools uh, um, to uh, create the frame itself. So here I am just cutting off the, uh, the one foot pieces off the ends um, and uh, you know I was blessed that I was able to get uh, these uh, DeWalt uh, cordless tools and uh, really really uh, enjoying them. Um, definitely makes life easier and don't have to worry about tripping over extension cords things like that. So just get these cut off and then we'll start putting that frame together. and. Um, Again, easy peasy. You can do this without uh, any fancy tools. Um, again, I've just been blessed. I've been able to, to accumulate tools over uh, 28 years of marriage. And I thank my lovely bride for that. Here I am, uh, I'm cutting the polycarbonate and I'm using my Roto Zip, um, which is a tool, another tool I love. I love all my tools apparently, but this one I use quite a bit as well. But it has a metal cutting um, blade in it. Um, and uh, I use, I cut all five panels at the same time. It just was a lot easier in doing it individually. Uh, one thing I was afraid of and actually did kind of happen is, is that the, the heat of the blade um, fuse the uh, polycarbonate together, but actually I was able to uh, go back over with a razor knife and uh, cut, as you're seeing, uh, cut those pe cut it the rest of the way free. Um, and uh, so, you know, that worked really, really well. If you don't have a uh, roto zip or something like that, you could use a circular saw with a plywood blade and you turn the blade opposite of, of what it normally would be. Or just you probably could use a hacksaw as well. And like I said, uh, those uh, panels did fuse together, but as you can see, they, they pulled right apart. So, um, you know, not a big, big deal. Just, uh, you know, something to consider if you're using, you know, a, a circular saw or uh, a roto zip or, you know, some kind of uh, power tool. Okay, so we're going to get uh, the uh, frames put together. Uh, I'm using some uh, self tapping decking screws I had in the garage. Um, and uh, they're actually way too long for this project, but, you know, I, that's what I had and I didn't. That. Being a little lazy, didn't want to run out to the store just to buy some screws. So uh, these are, I believe, three and a half inch uh, decking screws. Uh, so again, self-tapping. Um, you probably could get away with obviously like two and a quarter, three and a half inch. And, and, you know, um, and again, you could use nails if you want to use nails uh, if, you, you know, if that's what you have on hand. And uh, 
So you know, it's just basically uh, two screws in each, uh, you know, each side, um, and uh, that's that. So the other, um, as I'm doing this, is I'm just trying to get the, you know the screw started into the uh, into the wood, so it's a little bit easier once uh, I go to actually secure them together. Um, Again, you know, it's a very simple process, uh, you know, and the bonus to these is you can make them any size. It doesn't have to be the dimensions I'm using. Um, these will just fit inside our raised beds that uh, you'll see here as this video progresses. But you could, you know, you can cut these 2x4s to any size that you want. That's the beauty of this project. It's totally custom um, to what you have going on, uh, you know, with your gardens. So. Um, so you know, get those end pieces uh, on, and then uh, you know, again, get this uh, get this first one done. So this is a piece of foam board that I had uh, from a previous project and uh, I'm just measuring and cutting uh, to make the, the final end pieces I need to, to complete the, the project here and um, cutting 12 inch squares out and this, uh, this stuff is so easy to cut. Um, I'm actually using a 5-in-1 tool. Um, which is, if you don't have one, you really need should go get one. It is absolutely a staple in my in my toolbox, and I use it all the time for different things. Uh, I actually believe it's uh, a painting uh, tool, but uh, um, you know, it's a scraper, a hammer, um, screwdriver. Uh, you know, so you like I said, it, it you can use it for a myriad of, of things. Um, so, um, so basically, you just cut through this, and then this will just snap off, as you'll see here in a second. Um, so again, real easy to use. Um, and uh, so I'll get this uh, cut up and get uh, these uh, set to be placed in the garden.
I'm gonna take a quick tour. Basically, just uh, cut a foot off of each two by four, um, and then use that piece, the pieces that you cut off to make the end. So these are seven foot by one foot wide. Um, just the foam insulation at either end is just to help keep the weather out. You can, it, and it's easy to take out. To, uh, hey everybody, uh, sorry the iPhone died, so thus I had to stop recording. But uh, so hey, uh, finished up the project. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, you know, we're gonna test this out, see what happens. So I'm just gonna uh, take you for a little tour, just to kind of show you what the uh, the idea is and uh, kind of see the final product. So we'll, we're gonna walk out to the garden here and uh, be back with you in a second. So these are our uh, raised gardens. Um, so um, our first year uh, in this uh, new house here that we're at. And so here is, um, you know, the, the cold frames. So basically it's just, again, um, you need two two by four by eights, um, cut off one foot off of each of them. So the, the, the final dimension is seven foot by 12 inch and you just screw them together. You buy this polycarbonate. Um, you know, I, I got mine at Lowe's. You can find it at uh, Home Depot or probably, you know, any of the other stores by you. And um, it's uh, very flexible, very easy to work with. Um, we had to cut these down because the Lowe's only had the eight foot sheets. So um, easily cut them um, uh, to the size we wanted. And, uh, you know, so that worked out really well. Using the bungee cords, um, I have to get a few more because I uh, didn't have enough. So we're using twine uh, for the rest. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're just going to see how these work. And uh, so hopefully, um, you know, some, some delicious goodness comes out of these. I'm sure they will. My wife is the most excellent gardener. And uh, so, and we did one more and I'm gonna walk up front um, to show you that one. And because uh, Denise is going to test uh, a concept out here, we'll see what happens with that one. Hang on. So this is the one we have um, in the uh, in the front. Um, you know, and our house faces south, so um, you know this one's in particular. Although we do have this tree here, but uh, you know, with no leaves, it shouldn't be an issue with the sun or blocking the sun. Um, but with this one, Denise had me drill these inch and a half holes in. Um, just to allow, you know, maybe a little bit moist, more moisture to get in. Um, you know, we're, again, an experiment. We'll see what happens. Uh, sorry about the uh, road noise, but uh, we do live on a very busy road. So there's that. Um, those foam pieces uh, with the stakes behind them, just so that, you know, again, we can control the temperature on the warmer days. We can pop those off and allow some airflow in. Um, and uh, you know, then again, close it up when when the temperature drops. So, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, this will work. If not, then you know, we'll figure something else out. But it's again just an experiment, and uh, you know, so hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And if did, if so, you know, hit that uh, sub ah, subscribe button and or hit the like button, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.